Hey, I just wanted to make a quick, uh, easier tutorial on how to mine Monero off Termux. Um, Bartek TV uh, already did this. I got all of the commands from him, so I'm giving all the credit of, of all the effort to him. I'll link him down below. But yeah, let's um, let's get this uh, tutorial started. Oh, and also, I would not mine Monero right now. Um, I tried it on a phone and I was losing a cent a day. But once Monero becomes profitable, I probably will be switching some of my phones to Monero. Monero is good because if you uh, go on the dark web, you can uh, buy drugs with it. So that is the main reason why you want to uh, mine Monero. So uh, yeah, well, let's get this tutorial going. First, we're going to get F-Droid, so F-Droid.org, and then we're going to download F-Droid. Allow, download, open, install, and you may have to allow some um, permissions from downloading this from uh, Chrome, but that's okay. Uh, open. And now it's got to update its re repository, so it's got to load all the apps it has within it. So this will just take a second. I'll skip ahead when it's ready. Okay, now that all the apps are uh, updated in the repository, we're going to look up. We're going to look up Termux. And you're going to want to get the one emulator with packages, and you're going to download that. And while that's downloading, you're going to go to the Play Store. And you're gonna go QR code scanner, and you're gonna install the one from Gamma Play. And this is how I like to do my uh, tutorials. And we'll go back, and we'll go back into here, and we'll wait for Termux to download. And the reason why we're using the Termux from uh, F Droid is because it's up to date, and the one from the Play Store isn't. So now we're, we're gonna have to go to settings. Uh, allow from source, go back, install. Okay, and now that now we have opened this. Okay, now we're gonna go back and we're gonna go to our QR code scanner that we downloaded. Hit allow and we're gonna scan the QR code that I provided. And here it is. And we're gonna copy the first one. Copy. Paste. And we'll let that go for a bit. Nice. Okay, so now we're going to go to the next step. And uh, now we're going to download the actual XMR rig. So we're going to go copy. And we're going to paste. Okay, now that that's done, we're going to do apt upgrade. Yes. And for every one, every one of these prompts, just hit N. Cool. Now we're going to go to the next step here. Now we're going to actually enter uh, the XMR rig. So I'm going to paste that in there. Okay. And now we are going to do MKDR build, copy, paste, and then we're going to go right to the next set, which is CD build, copy, paste. Now we're in the build folder. 
And now we're going to copy this uh, weird command line here. And go paste and enter. Nice. Okay, next we're going to make uh, dash 10 or J10, sorry. Nice, okay, so now we're gonna go to the next step here, which is actually setting up our miner. So uh, on here, I just, by default, I just put it as uh, golf.monerotion.stream. Uh, you can use any pool you want, but uh, the, just for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna do that one because it's the most popular. Um, okay, we're gonna put our wallet in here. And I don't know where you keep your wallet, but I will go grab my wallet. Uh, nope. I put it in my Gmail here. Copy. Paste. And now we're going to change our worker name here. And I'm just going to put this one as cat because it is a cat phone. And I'm going to hit enter. I'm going to add in one thing here, but before you hit enter, um, copy and paste that entire thing and put it into like a notes folder or email it to yourself. Just somewhere where you can copy and paste it and uh, it will be used later for the video. And we should be hashing. Just give it a second here and see if it starts hashing. Okay, and then there, finally, we are uh, actually hashing. So now we are gonna go to my computer and we are going to go to the actual Monero Ocean website. So here we're at the Monero Ocean website and you're gonna post your uh, address here and you're gonna hit enter. And like, don't worry, your worker probably won't show up right away but it'll just take a few seconds. So let's just wait here until uh, it uh, shows up. But uh, I skipped ahead. It, it actually took a while for it to actually show up. But yeah, we're gonna go here, click refresh, and we're gonna go down and we're getting 242 hashes. And yeah, there's my worker cat. It's in red right now, but over, <laughs> I don't know what that means, but eventually it'll turn normal. Okay, now that we've been hashing for a while, um, if you want to continue hashing um, with your with your screen turned off, you can go uh, go down and you can go uh, acquire wake lock and yep, allow, and you can turn your phone off and it should still be hashing. So turn our phone back on. Yeah, and we should be hashing. So if you need to go to start your miner again, you're gonna go CD XMR rig, CD slash build, and you're gonna paste in uh, that address I put before, and you should be hashing again. So yeah, there's my little tutorial. And I hope you found that tutorial helpful. Um, I like to simplify things with QR codes. I find it's easier, it, you know, just copy paste instead of having to read it. You know, I, I, I just think it makes it easier, simpler, and yeah. Um, all my affiliate links are down below. It really helps me grow this channel. Uh, 
a lot of this stuff costs money. So <laughs> um, leaving a like really helps. Uh, subscribing really helps. And you know what? Comments really help as well. And if you have any questions, um, I'm probably not the best person to ask about Termux questions, but um, someone down below might be able to help you out. And uh, yeah, uh, thanks for watching.